Hi, Mel. Hey. Let's see. Working on uh, halter training with Millie. I don't think we're at the point yet where I can put it on when we're not in the stanchion, but I figured I'd give it a shot Millie today. Says, nope, you're no. not on. Let's get her in the we stanchion. We do this with food. Happy World Milk Day! Today is June 1st, it is World Milk Day. And there's a very big push in the camel dairy world. For the first time ever, for camel milk to be included on World Milk Day. Yeah, don't forget camels. Come on, we love our cows, but camels too. Right. And so today we thought we would make a video all about camel milk, the things we've learned over the last 97 days owning a camel, and uh, just share with you some of the health benefits. How to use it, the cooking, what does it taste like? And finally, we're gonna tell you how our family has been affected by camel milk. Was it worth getting camels in our family? All that stuff. Let's dive in. There are a lot of What's the right word? There are a lot of claims when it comes to camel milk and possibilities as far as nutrition and health benefits and what different health conditions camel milk may or may not help. We're not doctors and we're not gonna prescribe anything on this channel, but we are gonna tell you the different conditions that camel milk may help with and encourage you to do your own research as well as share with you the nutritional facts about camel milk. Let's talk about the nutritional benefits of cow's milk. Yep. And then camel milk. I need a teleprompter. First, let's talk about the nutritional benefit of camel's milk. Compared to cow's milk, camel's milk is lower in saturated fat, and it offers more vitamin C, B, calcium, and iron. And potassium. And potassium. And potassium. It's a good source of healthy fats, which could support your brain and heart health. Camel milk has health benefits, which we've seen personally. We are not doctors. Uh, this is not our list of health benefits, but we have several sources that we'll list below that talk about the studies associated with these things. And if you're interested in trying it for yourself, do further research. This is a list of uh, diseases or disorders that may benefit from camel milk in Christina Adams' book, Camel Crazy. We interviewed Christina. She's a wealth of information about camel milk, uh, the research done on camel milk, how to acquire camel milk, and the benefits that it had on her own son. This camel milk may be beneficial in treating conditions associated with inflammation, which may include autism spectrum disorder, attention deficit disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, gastrointestinal problems such as IBS or Crohn's disease, diabetes, skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, failure to thrive, food allergies, intolerances, sensitivities, Hashimoto's, sugar sensitivity, yeast overgrowth, chemotherapy-induced fatigue, anemia, kidney damage, rheumatoid arthritis, liver damage, and sensory dysfunction. Just for us on the personal side, we have definitely seen the benefits are our, from, for our son who has issues with food intolerances. And we'll talk about that at the end of this video. We'll talk about that at the end of this video. But camel milk is just this crazy, this crazy amazing liquid, golden liquid. I don't know what, how to describe it, it doesn't sound gross. <laughs> Liquidous. It also has fatty acids which are better for the human heart than milk, than cow milk. Awesome. We still love our cows. <laughs> it's low in allergenic proteins. It's a better alternative to human milk for children with severe food allergies or eczema. All right, camel milk. Good job. That's a great letdown, wow.
Now let's talk about what camel milk actually tastes like. You may remember our very first taste test video. It was not an immediate hit with our family. <laughs> I do not like that. Go ahead. We just taste like it better. I just want to enjoy yeah. it. Alright. Here we go. What do you think, kiddo? I like it now. <laughs> it tastes like milk when it's in Cheerio, sort of. Hmm. It does like taste like it's in Cheerios. <laughs> it is very salty. Looking back, we've learned there's some reasons why Millie's milk did not taste super good to us that very first day. After traveling from Michigan to Pennsylvania, uh, Millie was under some stress. She could possibly have not been drinking that entire time. So her milk would have been a bit concentrated and under stress, without enough water, camel milk can have a bit of a salty flavor. The fact is some camel's milk, it's, it doesn't have the sugar content that cow milk does, so it more often than not could taste salty. However, we noticed with Millie, the taste of her milk improved drastically in the next couple days after getting her. To the point where our picky kids who didn't want any camel milk the first day, after their first try, we're getting to be camel milk snobs and asking mommy to only have camel milk and not cow milk anymore. So taste wise, for the most part, camel milk, especially if you blend lots of camels and you take away any stressing factors, kind of tastes like a 2% milk that you would buy at the supermarket. It's definitely not as creamy or fatty as raw Jersey cow milk like we're used to. It's not as sweet as the uh, Jersey milk is. The sugar content isn't there, but it tastes like a regular milk that you might be used to purchasing at the supermarket. It does great in coffee, in lattes. You can substitute cow milk with camel milk in any cooking, any recipes. One thing to note though, camel milk is naturally homogenized, kind of like goat's milk. So you won't get any cream separation, very, very little cream separation in it. We've not been able to make any camel butter or camel yogurt. It's really a milk replacer. That was a really good camel milking. I love seeing that in the morning. <laughs> Me too. Jordan from Nature Way Feeds went and mixed us a custom made camel feed and Millie gobbles it. She loves this. Check out below for our bulk discount for Nature Way Feeds if you're interested. In a minute we're going to tell you whether or not camel milk has helped this little guy, the reason we got camels in the first place, if it's worked for Kay. Talk about all that in a second, but first it's time to do the Homesteady Camel Train. Shout out! What do you think of that? A little custom camel train. Our buddies from Parsons made these custom camel train shirts for our kiddos. Number five here has got his golden camel. Today's shout out goes to Shakira and Charles. Originally they're from Maryland and they recently moved to Arizona because of work. Let's see if we can get a camel in the background of this camel shout out. Their homesteading journey started in a townhouse with no backyard. Shakira went to the nearest Home Depot and bought a tomato plant and she said if the tomato plant would survive, she knew she would, she would know she had a green thumb and she'd keep going. And she has kept going. Not long after she was growing so much produce, she didn't have to go to the market for produce. She was saving money. A little while later, they bought their first home and started actually growing in the backyard, which meant they could grow more. Well, since they moved to Arizona, they no longer have that backyard and that beautiful garden but they're on a mission, they're looking for land, they want to do the garden again, and now because of home study, they want to do meat animals. Uh, camels would probably do pretty well, just saying. 
I like Sakira's motto. Uh, she applies it to what she does on her homestead, with her, uh, with a lot of things she does. It's why pay an arm and a leg for something when I can do it myself. So that's a good, good reason to start homesteading, right? What? She says, thank you for doing the show. Her kids love watching as well. So hi, Shakira and Charles and all your kids. They're up to seven kids now. Wow, that's, that's quite a feat. So follow them along. Their Instagram account is linked below. Thank you guys so much for joining the camel train. And uh, when you get to your new homestead and you're growing your garden and you meet animals, maybe consider adding a few camels to the lineup. So now let's answer the question that we've been getting asked a real lot since we started this journey, which has to do with this little guy who's got his own little baby camel milk t-shirt. Got camel milk. Speaking of which, you can actually get this camel milk t-shirt now. The camel train t-shirts, the one of a kind golden ones are no longer for sale. But everybody who wants to share the news about camel milk and uh, and the homesteady message, you can get this shirt now. Beautiful Got Camel Milk t-shirt, homesteady logo on the back. Show your support of uh, camel milk. And today, for World Milk Day, we have a 25% off of the t-shirt. So click right there to purchase that shirt. We had a baby who was dropping on the growth percentile for weight drastically. Uh, the doctor said it wasn't failure to thrive, but he was a slow grower. The pediatric GI said, uh, we don't know why it happened. We had no guarantee that a low allergenic formula would work. They gave us no guarantee that an amino acid based formula would work. Uh, they just told us if he wouldn't drink it, they would put in a feeding tube. So we thought, let's give camel milk a shot and see what it can do for us. Camel milk is the closest milk to human breast milk. And that's why babies who have very sensitive stomachs, as far as the science shows up to this point, can all tolerate camel milk. It's a very low allergenic milk. Now, what we decided to do is I reduced what I was eating drastically as far as variety. So I went on a very strict elimination diet to try to figure out what what food protein was getting into him that was irritating him and just not letting him grow like he should be. Camel milk helped me because it was something I could add that is delicious, <laughs> full of nutrients, protein, could fill me up. A another thing that I could eat, I could add something that was good for me, that tasted good, that didn't bother him at all. Yeah, that was one of the biggest wins this last 100 days with camels. Before she was drinking camel milk, she was on this total elimination diet. Your energy levels were super low. Yeah, I was very depressed about it because I just felt awful all of the time. You were kind of wasting away and when you go on a total elimination diet, they warn, don't do this unless you have to because it's, it's hard to get all the things your body needs on an elimination diet. The only reason to do this is to eliminate till you figure out what is actually hurting the, the gut system you're trying to heal and then you are trying to add things back as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's not to be done on no. a long-term basis. This isn't like a weight loss thing. This isn't like a, you know, a health fad. This is just like figure out the best way to figure out what's bothering your system. Once you figure that out, start bringing stuff food start bringing food back as fast as you can. And before camel milk, you were in rough, I mean, how do you want to describe it? What's the best way to say it? Like you were just- The nicest way to say it. I mean, you were just really, essentially like starving all the time. Yeah. Especially producing breast milk while shrinking what you were eating. Yeah. If you think about what milk is, it's a, it's a formula of all the essential things that a new life needs to get started. That's what milk is. It's, that's why it's an incredible superfood, as long as it's not carrying some disease or, you know, whatever else. But like, if you get good, pure, raw milk, it's everything you need to start a life off the right way. Right, now, for humans, that's breast milk, but as you can see, babies sometimes will react to the proteins from other foods the mother is eating that make their way into the breast milk. Some babies are very sensitive. Like ours. Now, 
cow's milk was one of the first things we re first things we removed because it's a high allergenic food. A2A2 milk, which is what we have, he reacted when I drank that, so that wasn't working. Goat, goat's milk. Goat's milk is there's a 90% chance you would react to goat's milk. Yeah. Even the nut-based milk, soy, hemp, we tried these things. Yeah. Those are also high allergenic things. Camel's milk is not. Camel milk allowed Kay to have life again this last 100 days. You've been doing hard farm work every day. You've yeah, been I have. Working hard alongside me, feeling way better than you were feeling, yeah. right? I mean, there's life. I think, honestly, that's been the biggest thing Camel Milk's done for us. And it really it's opens up, as far as cooking, um, opens up the variety of things I can eat and gives them a good nutritional kind of punch. And pancakes, I can put camel's milk in there instead of using water. And so I made chicken and dumplings with cassava flour tortillas, you know, stuff like that. The the foods I can make for them, I can also make for me at the same time. We can now eat some similar meals, all of us together. Yeah. So that's something that Christine Adams talks about in her book. And I'll, I'll link below to Christine Adams' book, too, if you want to check out Camel Crazy. Um, she talked about how nice it was. She was avoiding cow's milk for her son. Who uh, She was avoiding milk. Her son has autism spectrum disorder. And she was avoiding milk because she noticed it caused issues for him. Christina was avoiding cow's milk, but now camel milk, she could make things for her son that she wasn't able to make before. He could enjoy things that kids at school were eating. Oh, even like Pancakes, a smoothie. smoothie. Ice cream. We made camel milk ice cream. Yeah. Her dad got an ice cream maker. So you made a, what was your recipe? It was? Just egg yolks, because we figured out he could tolerate egg yolks, camel milk, and maple syrup. Okay, camel milk ice cream for the first time. Mmm. Is it so good? Mm -hmm. It tastes like maple syrup. Mostly maple syrup. You're Joe right now. Or Gordon Ramsay. Mommy and me are the It tastes good. like maple syrup. Big judge. It tastes like maple syrup mostly. <laughs> <laughs> That was, a little, that was a little better. That was better. Do you like that? You can have it on. Yeah, it's camel milk. And for the first time in months, Cave was able to have an ice cream. And for the first time ever, so could he. Yeah, he had ice cream for the first time ever. Yeah, or I made smoothies with the camel milk and blueberries, something he can tolerate. Because there are times it goes beyond the the physical like well he can't have that he can't have that just facts of it and it hits you emotionally when the kids are all like sitting down with their ice cream and he's sitting there with like sweet potato that he's tired of and he doesn't want to eat anymore this is your baby to be able to like here try this smoothie and he loved it it was so funny i got a video of him just like mm, mm, mm. yeah it, it makes him happy because he's got a very limited diet and you know, you want to be able to... And he gets tired of stuff. Yeah, he gets. He was throwing sweet potato on the floor the other night. Uh, no more, I'm done with this stuff. Sweet, don't even talk about sweet. <laughs> Rutabaga, he's like, nope, <laughs> done with it. But you know, he, here's I think our message at the end with when it comes to camel milk. Uh, not everybody needs it. It's not a miracle cure for anything. Don't go and spend, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars hoping on some miracle cure. It's just something that's great 
that for a lot of people, it will improve their life. And if they learn about it, like if we hadn't learned about camel milk, we haven't had camel milk these last 100 days would have been a lot harder for our family. And no question, camel milk has made our life better. And it might make your life better. Yeah. And in some ways, like at the beginning when I could have it for the first time and it didn't bother him, the word I wanted to use was, it's miraculous. But for some people, it might be an amazing thing to try. You might see some re really, really cool results. When you personally go from feeling like you're starving and all you can eat is Swede, or rutabaga, to having some meals that look normal and your baby being able to eat pancakes and ice cream. I mean, that's a big deal. And for us, it feels, yeah, it feels wonderful. And uh, we've been so glad we brought camels out of our homes. <laughs> Happy Milk Day! Happy Milk Day! So, should you go out and buy a camel yourself? Tune in tomorrow. Second to last video in this Homesteady Camel Train is going to talk all about whether or not you should bring camels onto your homestead.